Should have next match coming up pretty soon. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, oh hey. yeah, here it goes. What the flex versus Pit? Mm -hmm. uh, historically, in Pit's favor. Yep. Um, what the flex definitely being uh, our campiest Falcon, which is usually pretty good against Peach. However, uh, Pit is at the skill level where somebody who just wants to camp him will lose. Yes. Um, because camping involves giving up space, and that is very bad against a player who will take it. Yeah, really good players will take like very, very minuscule uh, real estate from you and then uh, turn that into really big advantages because they, they take they take it from you and then they just do not give it up. Yeah. And so your options become like, okay, well, I can attack him or I can run away and give up even more real estate. <laughs> and like now I'm in the corner and I actually don't have room to dash dance anymore. Now I have to attack him. Yeah. One of the pains of Falcon is his dash dance is so good, but that can kind of work against you sometimes in the sense that you see Peach coming in and you're like, oh, okay, I'll just dash away. But when you dash away, it's so long that you're like, wow, look, I'm in the corner already. Yeah. And I can't dash back because, like, he's, I mean, he's coming in with a fair, and then suddenly you're here. And it's very sad. So you have to be uh, very tight and precise with your spacing. Oh, nice. Let's get back here. Nice whip punish on the whip grab. Gonna be thrown yeah. into the corner. What Pit just did there is so, so good against Falcon. Mm -hmm. If you just float in that one spot, what she can do is she can just come straight down and it'll cover any offensive option that Captain Falcon has coming up from the ledge. Yeah. Or like a ledge dash. And if she rolls, then she'll just land a down smash yeah. and smack you back off. Yeah, since it has a little landing like from those float cancels. Yeah, it's very brutal coverage. Oh, okay, nice. good pressure. Yeah, actually understanding that the Wild Flux is going to respect the float cancel and keep on shielding afterwards. Yeah, one of the, uh, one of the I think, really basic RPSs of this matchup is that situation. Mm -hmm. Because the way you beat that is by rolling. Yeah. Or by, like, wave dashing back out of shield if you have enough room. But, uh, of course, you know, if you start showing that you like to roll there, then he's just going to drop down and chase you and grab right. you or something. Yeah, run and, like, crouch, run, down, smash, or just dash attack and push you off stage. Yeah. Like, run up and float neutral air, and now you're super deep off stage. Mm -hmm. Bad things can happen. See, this is something that I've uh, talked about when I watch Pit versus uh, Flux. Mm -hmm. When Pit goes really high, Flux usually goes to the ledge mm -hmm. or tries to cover the really high options with uh, back air, when really your best option for covering Peach coming in high is essentially always up air. Yeah. See, an up air would have hit that. Yeah, one of that is really strong hit, but it would have pushed him off stage, put on more damage. True. Whiffing moves against Peach is a very bad thing because she's actually not terribly fast. Uh, so actually getting in in your threatened area can be pretty difficult for her sometimes. But if you whiff moves, then you know, you're know you no longer really controlling the space around you. It's a big opening for her to come in and press her big old meaty buttons. Yeah, man, and those buttons are meaty. <laughs> yes, they are. The edge guards are, you know, this matchup is one of those matchups where uh, a lot of people, this is a high tier matchup. Hmm. And what I mean by that is, it's not a matchup that's good for Peach, but she still has, she is still a high tier character. Yes. She can still, the things that she can do are very, very good. So it's not surprising that a lot of people don't agree with uh, this matchup being in Falcon's favor. Mm -hmm. They're wrong, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are definitely things she can do still. It's yes, not, uh... For sure. If she gets in, she can do it. Oh, yeah. The problem is that it's just so hard to get in on Falcon if he's playing it properly. Mm -hmm. Very, very fast character. Very big punishes. Yes. That's one of the big things, is that he beats her in neutral and has a comparable punish game. Yeah, that, that's one of the big things for Peach, is that she's she's sort of a bruiser, and that yeah. like, she gets in and she does damage and she trades hits, and then she's perfectly content to trade hits just because her recovery is so big, and like she's... Um, She's a very durable character, whereas a character like, you know, normally a character like Falcon does not want to be trading ev ever because he's so fragile and, like, his recovery is so bad. But he hits so hard that yes. trading against Peach is not necessarily a bad thing. See, right there, uh, that's another one of those things where you you really want to just dash dance away from it thinking that he's going to come down, but a player like Pit will not give that to you. Mm -hmm. He'll just keep floating towards you and back airing, and then you're in the corner and don't have much to do. Something that's really good in that situation is waiting for the back air to come out and then turning around and doing an instant up air, mm -hmm. turning around and doing a nair, something like that. Um, or even just running through her when the hitbox isn't there anymore yeah, yeah. so that you can take the center stage. It's really important that you do that, otherwise you just end up dying. Yep, you get pushed off stage, and then you're falcon off stage. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty dominant from Pit. Yep, he's showing that he he definitely understands the space control in this matchup way better. <laughs> oh no! So uh, this is a very dangerous choice. Yes, it by, uh, is. Flex. Yes, it is. I actually think that this is a very oh. bad idea. Um, 
Reason oh, being man. this. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be the end of that stock. Not <laughs> like 11 seconds on the the timer. Yeah. So the thing about this map, in my opinion, in this matchup, is that it can work for Falcon, but Falcon, the Falcon player must either be better at controlling space than the Peach, or the Falcon needs to have something up his sleeve and be really aggressive. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need to be pushing your punishes just because you're going to be dying so early if you're not taking advantage of the smaller space yourself, uh, which we haven't really seen what the Flux do. Like, his punish game hasn't been too great, um, hasn't been able to land a lot of the positional advantages. Uh, and those sort of interactions, he's not been really winning out of them. He hasn't got the right openings. He hasn't got the right openings, yeah. He'll get hits, but you know, not just not just any hit will work against Peach until she's at like 40%, and then, and then anything works. But you know, you have to be so aggressive and you have to punish so hard to win here because, uh, oh look, now he's going to do the comeback. That's what he always does <laughs> when he says he's going to make the comeback. But um, it's because you can't afford to give up space here. Yeah. More so on any of the other ones, because if you give up like one dashback's worth of space, you could be dead. You you must you must be the aggressor in this, and he's still playing like he has room to give up. Um, uh, which is just not the case. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of the big things is he just hasn't been using up air at all. Like you um like you mentioned before in the situation where back air would have worked, there are lots of situations where you can get below Peach, and she doesn't have good downward hitting hitboxes. True. If you can set up for those up airs, there's not really anything she can do about it. And that's not something we've seen from what. Yeah, he, he's also going for these like kind of Hail Mary knees. Yeah. Uh, spacing there is really, really good against Peach. <laughs> we can go. <laughs> uh, I think that was a little bit of bad DI hit, but... Possibly. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is rough. No, hold in. Nice. That was well played by Pit. It was. It's not, it's not all that much I think I can say about that one. Yeah, it was just dominant play. Yeah. Every time he got in, he took so much. He did. That's uh, that's what it takes. It, it does. I mean, in a game like Melee, a lot of people have said that. I mean, even like you've, you've got some Marvel players who are like, wow, Melee's punish game is even stronger than Marvel. <laughs> like, this is nuts. Like, you, I don't know about that one. I don't know, man. Like, if, if you really think about it, you get like one opening, you take an entire stock. That's, uh, I guess that's true. I mean, you don't see similar stuff in Marvel where like Zero gets a hit and Zero deaths your character. But then, you know, that's only one-third of your round, and it's three out of five. Oh, that's round. true. It's only yeah. one-third. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I was thinking that it didn't make sense to me at first because I was thinking of Marvel as, like, they get in and they do those ridiculous, like, 100-hit combos yeah. or something, and then you lose the round or something. But that's – you're right. That's yeah, not true. Yeah, it's kind of like a similar idea. You, Fox hits you, and then he gets you off stage, and then he shines you, and that's it. Like, that's yeah. You're right. And I feel like I feel like what Flux really needed to do was space and air a lot more. Nair is, you know, people say, yeah, well, Possibly. if you spam Nair, then you're going to get dash attacked. But if you you can outspace dash attack with mm. his Nair. No if you just, like, space really well with that Nair, uh, it forces Peach to want to start dash attacking and doing these things that you mm -hmm. can punish with dash dancing. Yes. But if you just use dash dancing, she will not give you anything because she doesn't have to. Right, yeah. It's really, really hard to punish a lot of her aerial approaches just because if they're doing it correctly, there's very little lag. Yeah. They have a lot of lingering hitboxes. Mm -hmm. You really want to... You want to make her have to make the choices that you can punish with whiff grabs and things like mm. that, or like, you know, dodging it and then coming in and kneeing the spot dodger of the down smash or something. Right. Landing down air and then getting up air strings. Yeah, but he was just the way the way that he was playing the neutral was not giving him the openings that he needed. He needed to get those nares in. He needed to force Pit to do something other than float and take space just by being there. Right. Because once he could do that, th I feel like that those games would look so much different. Yeah, I feel like that is definitely like the the main selling point is that Pit just kind of floated into his space and was yeah. just like, okay, well I'm doing stuff now. What are you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. And one Flux was like, uh. He was like dash dance. That was <laughs> his decision each time. Yeah. Dash dance or I'll just I'll raw knee you. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. I didn't really. I didn't in really those work. in those float situations, up air is really good. Really great. Yeah. I mean, because you, yeah. you can get in there and hit her before the big hitboxes are coming out. So yeah. she has to get in deep close to you before really starting them. Or she uses forward air, which has got startup. Yeah. And you can kick her in. Or dash under. Dash A under coming times. from behind. Yeah. He never dashed under. Set up her knees That's down important. That's an interesting matchup. No. Yeah. It's a matchup like where, where the ways that they get each other to do what each other wants them to do is very simple. Mm. Like Falcon, all he really has to do is nair to get Peach to start trying to do the things that he can punish really well. Yeah. And all Peach really has to do is, I mean, try to get him to jump when he doesn't have enough room. Yeah. And then she, you know, swats him out, or you know, floats up and then drops down and then runs in and dash attacks or something like that. You know, just to make him think that he can jump into the air. 
Right. And then once they get there, you know, the punish game is just so brutal from both so sides. Brutal. <laughs> oh <my laughs> so God. brutal. It's disgusting. If you've ever seen Wizro play against a uh, like Peach player that wasn't Armada, which interestingly enough, he really doesn't get many Peaches other than Armada. There aren't many Peaches other than Armada. There's like there's Mac D and Kalamazoo, I think. Yeah. Well, you're right. There, there, really there aren't, aren't many. <laughs> there aren't many others. Like, I wonder why that is. I wonder if Armada's right. That Peach is just bad. Yeah. Well, bad relatively, anyways. Yeah. Bad for like the best in the world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not who you want to be, be playing at the you know. In the top eight of Evo. Yeah, character. personally, I put Peach under Falcon, but hmm. uh, 